Again, this is the inset of, uh, with a fair degree of fidelity, how your website is going to look uh, on the outside. So you can, uh, if I click on site identity, okay, that's where I would modify the site title. I'll type in some, some things here. I could remove or change the logo by clicking on that. I could modify my, my tagline if I so desired. That's what uh, uh, site identity will allow you to do. You can also, there, WordPress is trying to make it things easier for you and giving you various ways to get in and edit content. So if uh, I click on any of these uh, uh, editing buttons, for example, it would automatically take me on the left where I can edit my, we were talking about social media a while ago, how I could edit my feeds to social media. If I click the down arrow, it will, or here's a specific URL for my LinkedIn feed, so how I wish to label it on social media. Uh, and if I click it back here, and if I do any changes, I would save my, save my changes. Um, so going back to our list of this additional functionality, uh, ability to do things on their customizer. Um, a, uh, another area is uh, content and background. I can, by clicking on these images, I can have different layouts for how I want to have the site. It, it takes care of the color coordination for you, uh, which is a benefit. Go back to the default. Uh, same thing with fonts. There's a wide variety of fonts that I can use. Uh, if I click on Cherry Swash, for example, there's a dramatic change in how this looks. Um, and um, uh, I'm not going to save changes, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, I uh, will correct that later on. Uh, it uh, has a different look for how the how the fonts are, are viewed on the viewed on the site. We covered menus. Uh, I think we've covered widgets. I mean, we know we haven't. This is the the sidebar element that will allow you to change your widgets. So uh, this is how I did the the web uh, the. Uh, text and link for my home page. This is the other footer element for contact me. And then the last one on search. This is where this was done. This is how these elements were, were, were put together. Um, so I think I've covered, these are the main items under customizer. I'll click okay, go back to our site. And you see, I did not save that font change I did. So that I, I, I'm back with having my, my default uh, font. Um, and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up this demo, unless we have any questions, with exactly how to do a, uh, a, new, a brand new site um, and uh, show you how that's done.